All right, guys, back. Um, some news happening. Uh, according to Mike Coppinger, who's kind of like the unofficial PBC um, kind of like spokesperson in terms of like news and boxing, um, sounds like Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman are set to square off July 20th, possibly MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Um, not official yet, but sounds like all signs point to it. So. Um, stylistically, it's a good fight, actually, you know, um, I think I've made myself pretty clear that I don't think Keith necessarily deserves a Pacquiao shot, but neither did Adrian Broner when he fought him, so, um, you know, it is what it is, uh, you know, I didn't think Pacquiao was going to fight Earl Spence, um, or Terrence Crawford, um, you know, Bob stopped Terrence from, fighting Pacquiao, so, um, and I didn't think uh, Pacquiao would really want to see Earl Spence, if anything, he would have thought, he would have fought Mikey Garcia if Mikey beat Earl Spence, but, uh, I just couldn't see him fighting Earl Spence, I just don't see it, um, I didn't care what people or what Pacquiao said, you know, I'm too fast or whatever, yeah, okay, but, anyway, on to the fight, it does happen, it is a good style matchup. I think it's happening mainly because Keith, out of all the um, big name, well, well, Sean didn't look great in his last fight either, but his style is uh, kind of an ugly style, so not that him and Pacquiao wouldn't be a good fight. They actually used to spar back in the day, but um, it would be a really ugly looking fight, Pacquiao versus Sean Porter. Um, you know, I think Pacquiao versus Sturman will at least look better. Um, I do think Manny Pacquiao will probably get knocked out versus Thurman. Um, I'm not saying he couldn't go the distance, but Pacquiao just makes a lot of fundamental flaws. And it's been a while since he's fought a legitimate puncher, especially one that's in his prime. Um, yeah, when was the last time he fought a puncher? Trying to think. Because he just fought, what? Matisse, he's a big puncher, but he was so out of shape and so a shell of himself. I don't know if that counts. He punches hard, but he's completely washed. Um, Jeff Horn's rough, not really a hard puncher. Jesse Vargas is experienced, but he's not a hard puncher. Ted Bradley's a great fighter, but he's not a hard puncher, really. I'm not saying these guys can't punch at all, but I'm talking about can legit sit you down. Um, Floyd has respectable pop, but I don't think he's an elite welterweight puncher. He certainly wasn't in his prime. Um, Chris Algieri, no. Let's see. Who else has he fought recently? He fought Broner, respectable pop, but not a big puncher at welterweight. That was his last fight. Fought Horn in 2017, fought Bradley and Vargas in 2016, fought Mayweather 2015, 2014 he fought Algeri, right? 2013 he fought Brandon Rios, again, respectable power, but not a big puncher. In 2012, Marquez knocked him out, and I don't think he's a big puncher at welterweight. That fight was at, what, a catchweight of 142, 143, something like that, so... 2011. Did he fight? Uh, did he fight Mosley in 2011? Yeah, because 2008 he fought De La Hoya and Hatton. 2009 he fought Cotto. 2011 he fought Marquez. And I think Mosley. It's 2010 he fought. He fought Margarito and Claudie in 2010. And he fought Mosley after Mosley lost to Mayweather. Yeah, okay. So the last time he fought a big puncher was Mosley. That was like 2011. And that was after Mosley lost to Floyd. In 2010, he fought Claudie after he lost to Cotto. That was a good fight, if you guys haven't checked that out. Cotto versus uh, Claudie. Really, really good welterweight scrap. Um, I thought Cotto was the right winner, but it was close. Um, 
Claudia has good power. Do, kind of like Broner. Doesn't really let his hands go. But um, he could punch, though. So, yeah, Claudia. Claudia Mosley was probably, and Margarito, probably the last big punchers he's fought. That was 2010, 2011. So, it's, it's been almost a decade <laughs> since he's fought an elite and prime puncher. So, um, it's not a good thing. He's fought respectable punchers, but he hasn't fought an in prime active puncher in almost a decade. Um, I don't see that going well for Pacquiao. I think he can hurt Pat, uh, hurt Keith Thurman for sure. Um, but Pacquiao can't cut the ring off. He's not as uh, fast as he used to be. He's still a good athlete, still great conditioning, still has decent pop, but I don't think he'll be able to outwork Thurman the way he could Broner. Broner doesn't let his hands go because he doesn't have the right distance. But Keith Thurman, not that he has the greatest jab, but he can, you know, he does have good lateral movement. He can be busy with the jab. He does have a nice left hook, but Pacquiao's a pretty good um, right high guard. But he could catch Pacquiao if Pacquiao leaps in and lunges in, so he could probably snipe Pacquiao that way or hit him with an uppercut. I like Keith Thurman's uppercut a lot. It'll be a good fight as long as it lasts, you know. This is not a prediction video, but I think Keith Thurman probably does end up stopping Pacquiao, probably in the middle rounds. Um, but it's a good fight, though, if it is, you know, when it does happen. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about the fight, Thurman Pacquiao. Does Pacquiao still have one more great fight in him, or do you think his time is up? Do you think Keith Thurman becomes one time again? Or does he get his ass beat by a legend? that Lopez and two-year layoff still have a little bit of a linger effect. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned, take it easy.